Farming Simulator 22. Oh, I am an old guy gaming in in this episode. We are going to start things off by selling chocolate because uh, June is the best month to sell chocolate. I don't have a lot of chocolate because we also sold some in January, but I think probably moving forward we will only sell it in June. So we're getting maximum price. So let's grab whatever chocolate we have. Looks like we have five pallets. And we'll load that up and then see who the, um, who's got the best price here. And let's take a look at the price list for chocolate. Uh, looks like Red Marble's got the best price. And as you can see, June is the best month. Uh, $21.83 was the highest price last time, and now it's $22.03. All right, so let's run this up to Red Marble, make a little bit of money, and then we'll come back, and we're going we're gonna to try something new this time. Um, oh, actually, I wanted to tell you, too, um, I made a couple of miscalculations. We are going to harvest our hay in June, not July, because uh, it's in its second stage of growth, uh, so that's ready to go. But we're not going to be able to harvest our barley until July instead of in June, because apparently when I planted it last year, I must have planted it a month late, so... Uh, we've had we have both field 57. Um, we have both field 57 and field 68, but neither one of them are quite ready. If we look at uh, this map here, where it says ready to harvest, uh, this is dark green. This is dark green, which means it's at its last growth stage. But we'll have to wait until July uh, to do the big barley harvest, which is fine. We should be okay. I might need to buy a little more grain for the chickens between now and then I've already done that because I you know I, I took all of the wheat I had in storage and put it in the flour mill and I that's still that's not necessarily a bad thing because we probably make more money from the flour that it produced than um, we do from the wheat that we have to pay for for the chickens I don't know I haven't actually worked that map out but I'd rather not, you know, have to buy it if we can supply it. So I don't, I don't think I'll do that next time around. I'll probably just make sure we keep enough grain in the silo to keep the chickens topped off. But we're going to have a lot more grain this year than we than we ever have, you know, because um, because we have field 57, which we've had for a few years now, and now we're also going to have 68, which is an even larger field. So, yeah, that should be good. All right, well, let's go get this chocolate sold. I'll meet you back at the farm afterwards. And we're going to try something new this time and see how it works out for our hay harvest. $8,865. All right, not too bad. Okay, guys, we're back, um, and we are going to try something. So on the Mod Hub, I discovered that there is a Big M mower that comes with a hitch and a PTO on the back. Now, I know that you can also attach a front lifter, hydraulic front lifter, and a, and a draw bar to the back of this mower. And then to that, you can attach like a baler or, in our case, a forage wagon. And I actually tried that on a test save. And it, it, it worked, but it didn't work real well. It was glitchy. Things didn't quite connect right. The mower had a hard time with sharp corners. And bottom, you know, long story short, it didn't work very well. So um, we're going to try something different instead. We're going to go into to the store. And we're going to go to um, mowers. And there's the this Crone uh, M450 with the PTO. Um, and in addition to that, it also comes, you can get it in 549 or even up to 603 horsepower, which is useful because it's going to be carry, um, pulling a heavy forage wagon behind it, which it normally doesn't do. Now, the base game one only comes with... 449 horsepower uh, so this one already just out of the gate has another 100 horsepower and you can even increase it to 603 
Um, the other thing you can do with this is you can uh, customize the colors and stuff like that with it. Um, so for the extra horsepower, how much is that going to cost? Another $21,000 for 603 horse. You know, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go with the 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 five forty nine horse and see how it does first. Um, we don't need a GPS on it. Um, uh, we do want uh the OG license plate though. Um, so let's set that up really quick. Old guys. Uh, front and back. Okay. Um, I don't know if, if I want to actually change the design of this or not. It might, it might look weird. <laughs> I'm just so used to this being the way that it is. Does it cost us more money to change the paint? Like, what if we change it to a dark green? Oh, that's kind of cool looking, actually. Yeah, it costs another thousand bucks to do that. Um... Prone. Nah, let's just keep it the normal color for now and 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 until I figure out if I really want to do this uh, like permanently. Okay, so we're gonna lease this um to try it out and see how we like it. Okay. So as you can see it has a hitch and line connectors and a PTO shaft coming out the back. Okay. So let's hop on in and go over and grab ourselves a forage wagon and try this out. So that all hooks up okay, all right. Something else I think I'm going to do also is I think I'm going to change the course because right now it's just the spiral. But I think we're going to do, say, like four headlands and then up and down with this setup and see if that reduces the amount of um, leftover stuff that I have to, you know, clean up afterwards. Um, so... We want to go here, and we want four headlands. Everything else can stay the say the way that it is. Okay, that looks all good. Okay, we'll generate the course. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, let's go to 53, 54, save the course. We'll call this F 53, 54, 4 HL for four headlands. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to do is go here into auto drive and tell it to take corners more slowly. It does not have to avoid fruit. And I think the rest of this is probably okay. No, I don't want automatic repairing and fueling. Okay, apply all that stuff. Um, all right, nearest waypoint. Now, the other thing we want to do here is we want to set this to field 53, 54 load. We want this to be silage factory one unload grass. We want to turn on the course play button and then let it go to town. And we're just gonna watch it and see how it does. If this works, this is gonna be fantastic because now we're cutting and picking up in one pass. Oh, we forgot one important thing here. Hold on, we forgot to change to swath mode. Um, so that should be control Y. That looks good, okay. So now we need to set that to nearest waypoint, which it's on. Okay, it seems to be working. It's picking up the grass. 
So yeah, let's just watch it and see um, see how it does. I want to make sure it not only works okay with course play, but that it smoothly transitions over to auto drive and can unload at our silage factory over there. Let's see how it does on this hill. It's got 100 more horsepower than the base game one does, so I'm guessing it'll probably be okay. Wheels are spinning a bit, but it's still moving forward. Okay. I think if it was going to stop, it probably would have stopped by now. So I think it's going to be all right. I don't know, maybe we should go for the 600 horse. I, you know what, I don't think it's a power thing, it's a slipping thing. Because the wheels were definitely spinning. So more horsepower is not going to really help with that. I can put dually wheels on this, but I'm afraid that if I do that, it won't fit into the loading area over at the silage factory. It's already going to be pretty tight as it is. Okay, so it's got a full trailer. It's folding up the mower, which is good because it's going to need to do that to fit through the load area. And it looks like it's now heading over to hopefully offload without any issues. We shall see. Okay, I guess it needs, yeah, it's, it wants to get to the load point first. Too bad it didn't just go right off and unload it, but that's not the way it works. Okay, good. So now it's switched to the Silage Factory 1 unload, so it's got to go flip around here. Okay, that all looks pretty good. Now is it going to be able to fit through here? Yeah, that's tight. <laughs> I don't think we can put dually wheels on this. Uh, but it did get through. Good. Fantastic, guys. Look at that. Okay. We'll just keep watching it until it gets back on track before we say it's working 100%. And then uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get another one of these, at least another one of these for Field 71. All right, so it should drive back to 53, 54 load and then switch back to course play. That's amazing. Think about how much work that's gonna save. Okay, so now he's probably thinking Give him a second here. He's already switched back to course play because you can see that there's the green arrow right here. Let's turn these off. He's probably just trying to calculate a route back to where he left off, I'm guessing. Okay, there he goes. Good. Okay, it looks like he's going to take the long way around. I don't know why. I told him he didn't have to worry about driving on the fruit, but 
that's what he wants to do. I guess that's fine as long as he gets there. You're going to drive all the way over here and go up the steep hill again. <laughs> Dummy. Uh, actually, it won't be this ba as bad this time, though, because he has an empty trailer. Yeah, let's drive up the steepest part of the hill again. Sure. Oh, yeah, well, it's not a problem. <laughs> now that's a good sign. He's unfolding. Turning on the machine. Okay, yeah, I would say that was a successful run. So we're gonna go back to the yard and I'm going to lease a second one. I know this is kind of expensive, but I can afford it. Definitely can afford it. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll just start keeping our eye open on the sales and hopefully one of the PTO ones will come on sale or either that or we'll just lease to own um, these. So, okay, so let's go. Uh, here's the, the dualies, by the way, but there's no way that's gonna fit through the load area. It would definitely help with the traction though on that hill, but. It made it up the hill. That's the important thing. Uh, all right, yeah. So let's uh, lease another one of these. And we'll get this one going on field 71. And then what I can do is I can use the old crone uh, to do the mop-up work while these guys are working on the field so I don't have to, so I can keep them working basically. Because normally what I do is um, borrow the, the crone in between like, you know, that field to these to do the mop up work. And now, you know, doing it this way, there won't be any downtime. Okay, so we'll hook you up to this forage trailer. The PTO does kind of, <laughs> the little cap on it does look kind of jank there, but doesn't seem to be affecting anything. All right, we should already have auto drive points set up for 71 so I'm just gonna use them and if they you know if there's a problem with them I'll fix it but they should work in theory all right now for here um, where do we want to start We could probably just start right here, I guess. So let's get him on the field. Um, let's go no course. All right, we're gonna want, I think we're gonna do four headlands. Again, I'm not gonna do the spiral all the way around. I want them to do enough headlands so they have room to turn, but then I want them to do up and downs because again, that should be less leftover stuff that I have to clean up later. At least that's the theory. Uh, okay, so we got four headlands. Let's generate the course. Yeah, in fact, four might even be more than we really need. What What if we do three? Let's try three. Yeah, let's go with that. And we'll see how, how that works. Because there's really not any place on the ends that they're going to get tangled up maybe possibly right here but probably not so i like that okay we'll try the three headlands and see how that works all right so now we want to go to here uh we want to go to field 71 save course we will call this f71 
four, uh, no, three HL for three headland. Click OK. Um, I think that's all we need to do for that. Okay. Now. Why are you all the way down here? That makes no sense. What in the heck? Stop! <laughs> I can't catch him. Did I set him on the wrong waypoints? No, he's... Oh, was he full and then just turning around? He, he must have gone over the railroad tracks. That's kind of scary. <laughs> okay. Um, I was concerned maybe that I had set his waypoints wrong or something. Okay, so now what we want to do here is we want to set you to field 71 east load and silage factory one unload. You set the grass. We want to turn the course play thingy on and you should be good to go. Start at the first waypoint. All right. Now let's follow him and see how he does. Just for his first cycle here. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I forgot to set the wind rowing mode. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I'll go to the nearest waypoint. Okay, let's see how he does. I got a couple spots on this field that I'm going to have to re touch up, but I'll wait until after the haze cut to do that. Mm, he might nip this one. No. <laughs> Okay, what about this one here? There's another little gash up there I have to fix. Oh boy, that's close. Wow. <laughs> this one looks like it has a little more clearance, so I think we'll be fine here. Yeah, okay. The other reason why I didn't want a bunch of headlands on this field is because there's so many weird corners and stuff and angles that, you know, we just want to give them enough room to maneuver and then up and down is going to probably be more efficient for those reasons. And honestly, we probably didn't even need three headlands. That corner there, though, could be a problem. But I'll bet you we could get away with probably two. Oh, he's already full. Wow, look at that. He only got about halfway around the field, and he's already chalked full. Okay, so he should, should switch. He already has switched to um, uh, auto drive. So he's going to make his way back to the auto drive point. And then he should go unload if all is well. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Um, let's slow your corners down. And you don't have to avoid fruit. This is an, a new machine here. So I got to do that for every, you know, new tractor or, in this case, uh, mower that we use. Yeah, avoid the house, please. Uh, 
Oh, hey. Did I just see a collectible? I did! Look at that! There's a collectible right there! <laughs> I haven't found one of those in a long time on this map. Got a thousand dollars. Hey, why are you driving out on the field, dummy? <laughs> He's driving over the... Some farmer's corn. That's all right. It's elastic corn. It'll be fine. It'll spring back. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's fine. It's coming back. <laughs> all right. Okay, good. So now he's on Silage Factory 1 unload. Let's watch him as he goes down and make sure he gets unloaded. Looks like our other guy's uh, doing okay. If I do end up buying these, maybe we will change the colors on them. Um, Maybe not the chrome green, but some of the trim color, just so we can tell them apart. Not that that really matters, I guess. We can definitely afford to. It's just that uh, it's... Okay, let's make sure he can fit in here. Yeah, he's good. Okay. It's my tentative plan um, next year in January or shortly thereafter to buy the large cow, the big large cow born with the auto feeding robot. Um, so that's the highest priority. As long as we can, he's full again too. Nice. Man, we are going to bring in some hay, you guys, or I guess I should say grass for silage. If you haven't already figured this out, I kind of interchange hay and grass. Uh, in, you know, I just do. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> no, they're not the same thing, but uh, okay, that looks really good. That looks great. Alright, I'm going to assume he's going to get back on track. So let's just let him go, but I'll keep an eye on things. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump in our crone. And I'm going to mow the side areas and kind of do the cleanup stuff. And then I'll jump in the JCB with the third forage wagon and a V-rake and do the pickup from there. So this this looks like it's going to work out quite well. It really does. Um, all right, so let's start. Got a little bit of framiness there. We'll start on this field here. And yeah, I'll do this field. I'll do over by the the silage factories around the greenhouse and let those guys get ahead a little bit and then I'll come and start doing a little bit of cleanup after them. I'm going to stay over here so I can catch the grass up on the road here. I could plant some more further down too at some point. I just never remember to do it. Plus it does cost money, man. This stuff's not cheap. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to cut the camera here, and I will bring you back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys. I'm back here with an update. Everything is going smooth. I haven't had any hang-ups at all uh, from our two course play auto drive drivers. Uh, I'm over here getting the this field. Um, so I'll probably just end up mowing this field all the time anyway We'll see how things go though. Uh, I pretty much have everything over on The other side Done here. I'll show you real quick. Let's just go over there in the build menu um, So I did a little bit of corner work there a little bit there, but he's on, on the up and down now on this field and he misses a little bit on the up and downs too so I just mowed across that way and then he should 
get all of the rest of it. I have, uh, I've mowed this little section here. Uh, we got that field done. Uh, I did a little bit of corner work on 50 and at the top of this field. I forgot to hit that, but that's okay. Uh, and then mowed around the, the greenhouse border there. So yeah, everything is running uh, very smoothly at this point. Uh, I did a little strip up here. I need to put some more wild grass in along here, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'll hold it, hold, on, hold it off and for a few more times until I finally get around to it. I also grabbed a little bit of this margin grass around here too. So yeah, everything's going smooth as a baby's butt, man. And we are going to bring in some serious grass uh, from this harvest. I'd like to... I'd like to see if we could, you know, fill up our silage factory completely and maybe overflow some of it into the next one. Let's take a look and see where it's at. So it's going to be here. Okay, so yeah, we've got it. Um, well, in fact, let's activate that too. We've got it about a third of the way full already, and we have a lot more grass to pick up. We're not... We, we might be a quarter done, if even that. So, yeah, we're doing good. All right, so, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update on how things are going. And I'll bring you back again in a little while with another update. Okay, guys, I got all of my mowing done, and I'm getting ready to go out in the JCB and start picking up. But our first mower is just about out of bond silage, so we're going to refill him. We need to check the other... The other guy too. Um, oh, this is gonna be kind of tight getting in there, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because normally we have a tractor on these guys that's a little less wide. So let's see if we can back it in there. Definitely, in hindsight, I should have put these further apart, and I still could. I mean, I could move them. But we have to get the tank, which is on the front end of this trailer, into this little load area. That's probably good enough. Yep, that did it. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we'll just have to back it in there. We'll get this one restarted, and then we'll check on the uh, level of the other guy. And I'll probably just catch him after he unloads his next load and top him off there regardless of where he's currently at but my guess is he's probably fairly low this this guy was at about eight percent uh, but otherwise things are going really smooth it looks like my crone's parked on the railroad tracks but it actually isn't it's <laughs> it's off the tracks a little ways there um, I'm leaving it over there because I might still need to do a little bit more mowing cleanup work on 71 I want to see how the AI does once he, they get started on the, um, the up and downs. Okay, so nearest waypoint, everything else is good, so you can resume from here. All right, let's teleport over to the other one. Not you. Not you, you. You are... How is it that you're at 99%? That doesn't make sense. Oh, wrong one. I was going to say, okay, he's at 34%. Um, and yeah, he's coming in for a load. So what we'll do, <laughs> that was like totally puzzling me. Um, what, what I'm going to do is get him topped off after he unloads and then uh, turn him loose again. And then I'm going to hop in the JCB over there, which is just sitting on the field. I think I got got it out of the way and get started uh, with uh, picking up all this extra stuff. So this is working out really well. I, I'm very pleased with how it's working out because, you know, I'm, I'm staying very busy myself doing the side fields and the you know the the cleanup work and all that while these guys are full-time working on the two big fields and um, I'm very very pleased with how it's working so 
the Field 71 mower, which is this one, is probably going to stay on 71. I, I don't know if I already told you guys this or not. I think I maybe I did, but he'll stay on 71 the entire time. This guy that's getting close to being done uh, over across the way here, I'll, then I'll switch over and do the two smaller fields over there. So if all goes well, um, here, I'm going to take over for you. If all goes well, they should finish close to around the same time, I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know that for sure, and that's a, pu a pure guess. We'll just wait and see how it turns out, but I'm kind of thinking that's probably what will happen. So anyway, I'm going to get this guy topped off with some silage additive, get him going, and then I'm going to start picking up hay, and once again, I'll bring you back with another update. All right, guys, I'm back with an update here. Um, we have finished 53, 54, and 50. There's a little tough to grass over there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and we're almost done with the tri-fields here. And then for our dude on 70, uh, let's just take a quick peek over here and see how he's doing. Yeah, so he's got... It's about half, maybe, well, yeah, a little over half done, uh, if you include the the headlands. And um, so he's not hitting these patches here, but that's usually what happens anyways with course play on the up and downs, at least for me. I've, I haven't really figured out how to uh, fix that, so I'll have to come along later and grab those. Uh, I haven't done any pickup yet on South 71 over here. But what I want to do is I want to get the rolling going with the other tractors. So, yeah, let's um, hop into the McCormick. We had one little squirt of TMR there. And um, that's a nice thing about another nice thing about using these crones uh, to do all this because then it frees up multiple tractors to get really get at it on the rolling because um, yeah I'm not using the Fent, the New Holland or the McCormick so all of those guys can be working on rolling so I think what I'll do is I'll get the McCormick going on the production area first that won't take very long and we'll get the Fent on the on 53 54 and we'll get the new Holland going on probably tri fields and then this guy can go over to, to 50 um, I'm <clears throat> I'm thinking out loud as much as I am saying all that to you guys. <laughs> so, all right, let's get over here. Have a little bit of cleanup to do when he's done. He's just about done. So it's nice having multiple tractors, to, you know, to be able to work on these things. Okay, so we want you to go to production area, spiral rolling, load course, activate, first waypoint. Get at it, man. Okay, now let's jump in the fent right here. And we'll grab another roller and get him going on the the big field. All my stuff is all tangled up in here again. Man, I don't know why it does it. It's such a pain in the butt. I've had uh, more stuttering going on than usual. It's probably just because with all these guys 
working might be um, taxing my processor a little more than usual, perhaps. All right, let's get you going on field 5354 spiral rolling, load course, activate, first waypoint, and boom. Go to it. And then we'll get the new Holland over here on field 50. Right here. I'm starting to get a little little low on fuel. Okay, that uh, crone is done. So we're going to take over for him real quick and just get the the leftover bits. We'll get the new Holland stage, but I'm not going to actually start it till I hit those two little patches on 50 that were missed. Might as well since we're here. Okay, so we'll just stage him right here. We'll unfold the thingy and then you just stand by for a second. Um, I'm going to move you out of the way a little bit. That's good. Okay, we'll jump in here. We're 75% full. Yeah, this is working out absolutely phantasmagorically. <laughs> um, I'm very pleased with how it's working. I guess I can't use... the lower both tools at the same time with this setup for some odd reason. Man. I don't know if we... Uh, no, I should say when we buy the Crones, maybe we better get the higher horsepower. This is pretty slow. I don't know, that might not matter though. Again, it might not be a power thing as much as it's a just a speed limiting thing. But it does definitely slow down on the corners. Okay, good. So that takes care of those uh, pieces there. We'll have a couple clean up items over here, but we should be able to get the new Holland started now. We'll mow our way over to him. Hop in here. We want field 50 spir uh, spiral rolling. Load course, activate. First waypoint and go for it, man. Beautiful. Okay, let's finish up um, 
just this uh, little bit here on the field left. And then this guy we're going to probably send over to 71 to help finish up. Yeah, it's definitely slower, but it still saved me an enormous amount of time by, you know, being able to mow and pick up in one step here. Plus, it's fun, too. I like the automation, man. I like the auto drive and the course play and stuff. It's, um, for me, it's, it's just fun to get it set up and get it working and see it in action. And, you know, as I've already said, I consider it just, you know, farmhands and employees helping out on the farm. Um, okay, so let's switch back to you and raise the blades. And we have just this little bit to pick up in here. And then we're going to back out onto the field and turn this way because there's one little more patch we got to get. It's the next morning in real life for me, too, by the way. Not that that really matters to you guys, but <laughs> if I sound a little groggy, it's very early in the morning right now. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is... Fold him up, turn off the forage wagon, and raise the lift. We're going to drop this grass off, and then, like I said, I'm going to get this tractor, or this um, mower, I guess, yeah, going. Okay, we have another load coming in, too, on uh, to help out on field 71. So After he dumps off and I dump this trailer off oh you know what this he's at 11 percent uh silage additive so we we should top him off too before we send him back out and i want to check the other guy too here all right let's see where you're at you're at 21 percent okay i think we'll I think he'll be fine as long as this one's helping out to finish up 71, but this one I think will top back off. Man, we have brought in a lot of hay. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. A lot of grass. Okay. It's a tight squeeze in there, man. You know, when it's all said and done, I think it was only like 20,000 or so mod more for the bigger engine. I think I'm just going to get the bigger engines when, when we actually purchase these. Uh, so I want to get the bigger engine and I want to change the colors on them just so we can tell one apart from the other. So we're going to return. I know I could have saved some money if I would have just done this in the first place, but... I wasn't sure how well this was going to work, so I didn't want to totally commit to it. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll upgrade the engine on the on the two new crones with the hitch and change their color. So that way we can tell them apart. Oops. get you right in through here it's probably close enough yep it is nice okay we'll get him out to 71 and 
guesstimate where the middle point is between you know what's left to do and we also have to change his load to field 71 we could do just field 71 or field 71 east I guess it doesn't really matter because it's you know you don't really know what side of the field they're going to be on when they get filled so kind of doesn't really make that much difference yeah see there's not that much left actually here so what we're gonna do is this let's start him probably I'm just gonna say right about here ish and we've got to load field 71 um, three headland load course activate we need to change this to field 71 east load turn that on turn these on for a second so I can see where to start him probably yeah right here that should work and then we want that to be on nearest waypoint and there he goes so it shouldn't take these guys long at all to finish up 71 and then that'll conclude the mowing but I'm still gonna have some pickup work to do later so yeah I won't take them too long to finish this up cool all right let's jump back to uh, you're done all right We'll just finish up this little bit that he didn't get. And then set him going on field, uh, the tri-fields. Well, actually, no. I'll probably use this guy to... We could, we could get him started on 71, actually, on the headlands. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll probably have all three of the tractors rolling on 71 before it's all said and done. Yeah, that's one of those weird patches that won't roll for some reason. But it's just a visual thing. It still applies to the second application of fertilizer. Oh, it looks like there's a couple pieces of hay I didn't get picked up over there. Okay. So let's fold you. And yeah, we'll get this guy started on 71 along the border. Well, no, hold on. I got I have a little bit of pickup that needs to be done first. So yeah, we're not going to do that. Um so we will Yeah, we'll get you started over here. I I have a some pickup to do over here but it won't take very long in fact the new holland's almost finished anyways we'll have to get the corners as usual we want to go to tri fields spiral rolling load course activate start at first waypoint and the new holland is finished i'm just going to let him sit there for a moment because i got to get this this other loose hay picked up real quick. Yeah, can you imagine how long this would take me if I was just doing this all by myself with no course play or auto drive? <laughs> it would be hours. Hours and hours. Whoops, I didn't back that up good. But we should still be able to snake that little piece there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're taking an enormous amount of time. And that's not realistic either. Again, you know, on a farm this big, you're going to have farm hens helping with all this. Okay, we're going to take uh, you over to 70 and just stage you for the moment. Uh, no, second thought. 
I'm going to pick up all the border stuff on 71st, so that way we can get the rolling started. Yikes. Oh, we forgot to look and see where we're at on our grass. Look at them coming in with those loads. <laughs> I love it. Let's take a look here. We are looking for this. One, almost 1 1.2 million and two more loads on the way. Uh, that's pretty good for one cutting of hay. That's really good for one cutting of hay. Fantastic, man. Okay, let's get these guys lowered and started up. And then I'm going to go around and get all the hay on the outskirts here. And then get um, the new haul and I guess it will be the first tractor that will get started uh, picking up this grass. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back with another update here in a little while. Okay, guys, um, all of the mowing is done from course play i'm just going to have a little bit of cleanup to do here on field 71. Uh, so let's get these guys started get some lights on here too so yeah this went really well um the field is is pretty clean i didn't ha have to do a whole lot of pickup prior to you know them finishing here so we just have these little bits to get that they always miss on the up and downs. And um, I'll get the I'll get all that with the V rake on the JCB. I just want to get the grass cut right now. Um wait a second. Why isn't Oh the lift wasn't down. I was going to say, why isn't that picking that up at all? <laughs> it's because the lift wasn't down. All right, so let's get back around. Yeah, it really slows down on the... Okay, let's turn the mower off for a second. I'm going to just run back over some of this, but I'm not worried about getting all of it because, again, I'll... I'll hit it with the V rake. It's a little section over here we got to do too. Grab this here. And then this section, and there's a patch on the other end of the field. I think, um, all my rolling's done on the on the older fields there, so I'll probably get all three of them going at the same time on 71. And uh, with all three of them going, that it won't take long at all. We should knock it out pretty quick. I never really checked to see if four headlands was too much for this. I mean, but it all worked really well, so I think uh, we'll probably just run with it. It's just wide enough if I stay right in the center. And the final piece. All right. Fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do with him is we're just going to give him an unload command, and then that'll be it for, or her, rather, for the mowing. Um, so now what I'm going to do is... Um, hop over to the McCormick and we'll get the McCormick 
and the New Holland started on 71. I'll grab the Fent and just take care of these little corner pieces after I uh, finish the hay pickup on 71 South. I gotta really think this through, man. <laughs> I'm trying to manage all this, all these little tasks here. Doing the farm manager thing. Uh, we don't need our old crone, so I've got to get it back to the to the shop too. All oh, right, I need to get I want to get that stuff picked up before I actually start the rolling. Okay. So here, let's just leave you there, and we'll run over to the JCB. Yeah, let's go grab that little bit of grass there because it's pretty close to the edge. So I want to get it picked up before the roller goes over it. And then I'll come back and finish this afterwards. Might as well grab all this too while we're heading over there. Oh, we're full. All right. So we're going to have to go dump off. Then after I dump this trailer off, we'll see once again where we're at with the with the hay. We'll probably have about one more full load after this. After I finish up field 71 south and get the rest of the grass picked up on 71. We'll be close. Okay. Let's drive you back to the farm so we can get the forage wagon uh, cleaned up and repaired and put away. Well, cleaned up and repaired anyways. I use the tractor to put it away. And then I'm going to return uh, both of the crones. So we're not what time is it? Oh, it's 1058. Um, yeah, I need to get these returned before it turns to the next hour or we get another hourly charge. That was a good timing then. Okay, let's go into here and return and return. 1059. Nice. Okay, so <laughs> we got them back in time. Uh, I'll clean these guys up and repair them, put them away with the tractor later. Okay, let's see. Back to the JCB to get that trailer unloaded. Man, I'm always going the long way. <laughs> There's a mod um, that a, a, brings up kind of like a, a table or a list of all your machinery that you can then directly teleport to. It might not be a bad idea to get something like that with this many machines going now, you know. Okay, so again, I figure we're going to have about one more load of silage, but we're currently sitting at 1.3 and a half million. But remember, a lot of this has, has gone down into here too. Now I had, I think I had some silage in here before we started. I can't remember to be honest with you, but if most of this was not in here, then we, we harvested uh, about a one and a half million liters of grass in one cutting. <laughs> That's really good, man. That's really good. All right, guys, back with uh, an update here. Uh, 71 rolling is going well. I wonder if those patches there are that weird stuff that won't roll or if he's just missing it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so the New Holland and the McCormick have uh, made really good headway here on 71. Uh, so I'm going to put the Fent on 71 South. And I for I think I forgot to tell you guys that I've also been harvesting the hay around 68, our, our big field further south. Um, so I'm going to run down there with 
uh, with the big M, just my big M, not the rentals because I turned those in already. Oh, I was going to say, why isn't that rolling? Okay, lower that. After I get the Fent um, going on Field 71 South here. So I'll just do this little strip here. Get in under the trees here. Oh, I guess my head tracker's not on. You get used to that after a while and then not having it, you know, I'm turning my head to look and <laughs> nothing's happening. <clears throat> okay, so let's get right over here. Oh, got this little spot here too. Uh, all right, so we'll remove that. This is going to be a new course. <clears throat> and uh, probably four headlands, maybe. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that looks good enough. And we're going to go here. We're going to create a new folder. F70. Oh, actually here. Give the folders the full name. Field 71 South, save course. F71S rolling. Okay. Start at first waypoint. And he should be able to handle that. Okay, so let's, um, I think the New Holland is pretty much finished with the headlands. So what I'm going to do here is stop course play. And, yeah, the McCormick's doing the up and downs. So I'll use the New Holland just to get these corner areas that were missed. That looks like another one of those pieces that it aren't going to roll, maybe? Yeah. Okay. We should be able to get these corner pieces here, though. Okay, so we're just going to do one run around the field here. I'm not worried about getting every last little piece of grass, but we will do one one swath around. There we go. Estimated that in our favor. We got a full trailer load and we still have a little more. Okay, cool. You know what I think I'm going to do with this grass is I'm going to put it in our feed silo uh, so we have a nice big batch of silage for um, the large cow barn when we uh, put that in place next January. This will give us a, 
I need around 50,000 liters a year for the small cow barn, so I'm assuming... Well, I guess I shouldn't assume that. It depends on how many cows we can put in the large barn. It might mean more than twice that much. So yeah, we'll just put all of this in the feed silage, uh, silo and be good to go. Um, all right. So guys, I think that is going to wrap up this episode. This was a long, long episode. <laughs> Lots of recording. I will, of course, you know, be editing it down uh, to a more reasonable length for the episode itself. But that was a huge hay harvest. And man, oh man, I'm, I'm just really happy that... Uh, you know, uh, that we had the the modded crones with the hitch on the back to, to make this job a little less painful. Well, painful is not a good word. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's really neat to have, you know, be able to harvest this much product for our farm. So painful is not the right word, but I mean, just it was a lot of work. So um, that mod is on the mod hub, and it's basically the crone... Uh, look for it under mowers. It's, yeah, I think it's under mowers, and it's pretty pretty unmistakable. It basically says Crode, you know, Big M450 with PTO or something like that. So, and kudos to the mod author for putting that together too, because it just really saved us a lot of work, made this process a little smoother. Uh, yeah, so let's dump this in here. And let's take a look and see where we're at in the, the main silo. So right now we have uh, 10,000 and we're, we're putting another 50,000 grass. And I already have 41,000 silage made. So this is our feed silo for our own cows. Uh, the main silo ended up with 1.2 million and change in grass and has converted several hundred thousand of that grass into silage. So... Um, had I not been processing that, we would have most likely completely filled um, this silage factory up. Um, the reason I'm not 100% sure is because I'm not sure how much silage we had in there before I started. I just didn't look at it. But that's a really, <coughs> really enormous, in fact, yield for a single, you know, cutting. So, yeah, really happy with that. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to go back and pick up that last little bit of hay on 68. Get the tractors and uh, forage wagons cleaned up and repaired and put away. Uh, and then I'll just get all the way through June and bring you guys back on May 1st. And we're going to have two massive barley harvests to do in May, which is going to be great. Let's bring in lots of grain for our flour mill and our chickens and... Uh, all of that good stuff. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.